Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here on behalf of Noon's Nook Designs to introduce their new perfect dies which coordinate with their stamp sets. I thought that was a cute little name that Jennifer came up with. And so the stamps will, um, some of the stamp sets will have coordinating designs and I'm going to show you how to use the dies and um, some of their features as well as how I store the dies in case that might be helpful to you. So when you get the dies they come in a very similar packaging to the stamps and they're being held on by some adhesive which can rub off easily. Also an adhesive eraser might help. And to get the dies apart to start using them with your stamps you can simply um, twist and turn the dies until they s snap apart. Um, I find that sometimes a little bit tricky to do and it has um, some rough edges then so the other suggestion would be to if you had it use some die snips or actually just wire cutters and you can um, trim off and give a smoother edge they also I've heard of die files to help you file off those edges and um, I, so here I'm just using my standard wire cutters that I found in our toolbox and snipping the dies apart this particular die set that I'm showing it coordinates with the Newton's Naptime stamp set. And what I really like is that Jennifer thought to include this really awesome speech bubble. It does not coordinate with any particular stamp in the set, and it can just be used separately, and it's very versatile. So here I'll show you how to actually use the die. I'm stamping down my image. This is the most traditional way to use the die is to stamp your image and line up the die with the image. You could potentially just cut the cardstock and then try to line up your stamp with the die cut piece, but I find this a little bit easier to do, especially because these are dies that are open in the inside. Now, for when you're lining up the dies, you want to make sure that the inside of the die matches up with the stamped edge, or in this case, the black line, because I'm stamping with black. I am choosing to use a little bit of low tack tape to make sure that my dies stay in place. Even though I have the magnetic platform, I find that things shift a little bit and so I'm just using um, some micropore tape, washi tape, painters tape, all of those would have the same function. And there I use my Sizzix machine, whatever machine, die cut machine you have, you can know what the sandwich is for wafer thin dies and that will work perfect for these. And then your stamps are all cut out and ready to go. Uh, I wanted to show you another way to use the dies though because this, as I said, includes that standalone thought bubble die. And so you wouldn't be lining that up with an image, you would instead just be cutting it out. And so here I'm showing you cutting it out of some pink cardstock. But I also particularly like the hearts in this stamp set because you don't have to stamp the hearts in order to die cut some nice hearts which are always great accessories. And so here I'm just showing you how they look without the stamping as well and I think that's another um, great use for them. Now when you have the solid dies sometimes the little papers get stuck in the smaller areas but that's why those little holes are in the dies so that you can just take any sort of thin tool like a needle or that paper piece piercer there and just poke them out. Now I just wanted to give you um, a quick overview of how I store my dies just in case that's helpful to you. I store my stamp sets inside of zip top bags and um, they coordinate with the size of the stamps. It's a smaller stamp set but I like to keep my dies with their stamps so that they're always easy to find and um, so I take these magnetic vent covers that I get at my local hardware store I place the um, dies down on it to see about how much I'll need and then I just trim out the magnetic sheet. It is a very thin lightweight sheet but fully magnetic and so there I'm able to place it right in with my dies and it doesn't stretch the bag or isn't too heavy or anything like that. And with the Newton's dies because the um, backings for the dies match the backing for the stamps I actually just place them right back on that little adhesive strip and it stores everything together nice and neat. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the Newton's Nook Perfect dies and you're just as excited as me to start having some coordinating dies for these stamp sets. I'm going to leave you links to the Newton's Nook blog where you can check out these brand new products. Thanks for watching. Bye.